The time is quarter past six. Monday morning, just after the weekend. Morning run at half six. <sighs> Who wants that? Who wants that? Let's go get it. Come on. Good morning. Your boy TJ, half past six in the morning. Look how light it's getting now. Wow. About to do a quick five to seven K running on the seafront, trying to just get that discipline. And it's Monday morning. And I'm telling you one thing, okay? I was waking up throughout the night thinking, oh, I don't want to do this run at all. This run's going to be disgusting. My mate even messaged me saying, are we going to gym at this time instead of the run? Because he prefers the gym than the runs. He actually missed a few last week. But it's one of those things where you've got to do what you don't want to do. If you feel mentally drained, tired, X, Y, Z, and you just allow yourself to take that day off, take take them days off. Slowly but surely, you start to go into a downward spiral. You start to lawn it off a bit more. You start to, ah, oh, yeah, do you know what? I don't really feel like running today. I'm not going to run. And then by the time you know it, you've lost your fitness. You've lost your drive. You need to embrace the hardness. Once I get out there, I'm going to say it's hard, challenging. But I tell you one thing, after this run, just watch my mood. I know for a fact, and this is the only reason I'm doing it, it's because I feel like I've completed the day already and it would be like quarter past seven. Anyway, make sure to get up, like and subscribe to this video, and let's get this day in the life of a forest trader underway. Currently down the beach right now, morning. Getting it done. Tom, did you want to do this today? Well, I, I, I say I appreciate most mornings, but today was actually made me angry before. <laughs> I didn't want to do it at all. <laughs> it ruined my mood this morning. Mate, it does. It does ruin your mood. But now I'm out here looking at the sea. All I'm thinking about is how I'm going to feel when I'm done. Yeah, and that's what we're doing it for. That outweighs it. It outweighs it. It really fucking does. First up of the day is a big one. We've still got gym. We've got work. We've got shit to be getting on with. But if we can't do 5k at the age of 25, three days a week, then there's a problem. Yeah. We're fucking lazy. And we're trying to get our laser mentality out of our brains and still implement in new ones. Yeah, they're definitely still in there. Definitely, st definitely still in there, obviously, as you guys are following the journey. But yeah, look outside. Let's go get it, baby. What do <laughs> Lovely weather. 5k finished. We've been walking now, probably a K or two, just getting it in, calling down, having a little talk about business, yeah. nice and early in the morning, getting ourselves prepared. Just morning therapy session. Morning therapy session. We're literally just going on about drinking, how much it sets you back. You need at least two days to recover. Talking about how we feel mentally drained, but in order to achieve what we haven't got, we need to keep pushing and striving to better ourselves with workload and individual. And yeah, just ready to smash the week, I guess. We've so. got, I'm going to Starbucks, got to make some shorts, got to go gym, got to do business calls, got to back test. So many things I've got to do today, but I've got the most important thing out of the way. Big run, now I'm ready to tackle the week. Now we're awake. We're awake, we're awake. And plus, we're getting little Ws. It, it was easy to not run. It's easy to not come out and push above yourself, but you got to do things you don't want to do in order to change your bad habits into good ones. Let's get this day. Time is currently 35 past seven right now. Just got back. Big, big run. Protein oats already. You know how it is. Getting it in. And then obviously shower, get ready, Starbucks. Spend some time with the missus and then get straight into work. I'm buzzing for today. Big, big day today for the day in their life. Big gym session too that needs to be recorded. And yeah, just staying motivated, staying positive, staying driven. That's all I have to do every single day. First day of the week, back, strong mentality, strong mindset. Let's get this. Gold's at 2,000. Gold's at 2,000. Time to back test, what? Okay, so currently gold is at 2003. I'm expecting sales back down to like 1900 areas. And then we could see 2050. I, I was saying this at the start of the year. I've been saying gold's going up. I was, I knew it was gonna go back to 2070 area. And wow, we're at 2000. At the end of last year, okay, so end of near December, we was all the way down at like 1600 level. Now we're at 
2,000. That's 4,000 pips. 4,000 pips on buys. It's, um, it's, that's mad, you know. That's actually mad. But quick back testing session. I'm waiting for 1900s and 2050 area. That is the whole point of trading. I've done my analysis. I've got freedom. I wait for the setups, created alerts. On trading view on my iPhone, it will notify, notify me when I'm got the trade in the right position and I can enter. So now we let the markets do what they want to do. We don't just watch them 24 seven because then that messes with the psychology of the trade that we're waiting for the setup. And this is how you become successful over time. You don't have to trade every week. You don't have to trade every other day. As I said, it's March, 21st of March. I've traded twice this week, uh, twice this month, sorry. And I'm up over like 7%. Three out of three, potentially. Let's go get it. But 500 milliliters of water, drunken also this morning. Now time to get a Starbucks. After Starbucks, I've got to do some stuff in the office, making shorts for the YouTube channel, staying driven. Currently time is five past eight in the morning. And look at what I'm achieved. There's people probably right now that aren't even showered. Come on, man. Closing the trade there, plus 40K for today. Overall this month so far, plus 75K. Free trades taken, free trade, fr free trades taken, free trades, all in profit. What can I say? So steady wins the race. It's not even 9 a.m. yet. And I will be going to get my smoothie. I've got to make shorts. I'm going to ban out seven shorts, which is one a day for the week. How can you go wrong with this work rate? And as I say, I say it to so many people and they just don't listen. And then they just try and seek more signals. I don't even charge for these. All free link in description, all in the free telegram. And I don't want to be trading every week. I don't want to be trading every other day. I get messages, TJ, why are you not sending trades? Bro, I am sending trades. I'm up, I'm winning. Just because you're not, because you're over trading, doesn't mean I'm not. I'm, everything's living proof in the Telegram. So unsteady wins the race. Too many people out here trying to just over trade. Please listen to me. Please follow what I'm doing and learn from me. Understand that we're not here to get rich fast it's not it's about a process that you take with yourself and the trading journey everything takes time in life patience is key it's a skill that i'm trying to learn every single day patience is key consistency is key in order to achieve anything in life goals dreams ambition like you gotta have ambition you gotta you gotta, gotta keep going and try not to get too involved that's why it's good to have multiple things on the go trading is gambling trading is gambling but it's tactical. You've got to implement good strategies. You've got to implement good psychology. Control your emotions. You guys have heard it before, but easier said than done. We all know that. However, you've got to take the first steps forward and try to develop good habits with your trading. If you're going to continue to keep messing up by over trading and being too, too tunnel visioned into trying to get rich too fast with trading, and it's just not going to happen. But I'll show you the trade. We call sales up here. 2001, 2003, which was just up here. 2006 SL, which would never hit. And then obviously TP was 1993. I, I ended up closing early anyway, but if you look at the if you look at the market, we just come shy of it. But yeah, close for good profit. It was just a quick trade. You know the 2000 level is always gonna you know react from that. We come up to 2010 London Open, so we know that we're gonna see some sort of retracement. So we're catching that sell back down for the retracement. And now we don't need to trade for another week, and it's already Monday. So I've made my money for the week slash month. I don't even need to trade now until the end of March. And uh, yeah, now it's time to make my short. Just finished my shorts. Now we've just shot up a past 9 a.m. Quick little seven shorts for the whole week already done in the office setup, couldn't be much better than that. I'm waiting for the missus to finish her meeting off and then we're gonna go work in the cafe where they do smoothies and I can replenish and refuel myself. But traded for the week already, and very good profit, slash really good profit for the month. Done my seven shorts, went for a run this morning, eating food already, going to have a nice healthy smoothie. Things are looking up and I'm just trying to better my life every single day. Even if I would rather sit on the sofa and watch TV, even if I would want to lay in bed, I'm not allowing that to happen. Yes, I'm fatigued mentally. I've got a lot of stuff going on. This isn't easy. Recording my day for you guys isn't easy. You know, it's, it's another thing I have to do, another thing I have to stress about uploading. But these are the things you have to do to better your life. I want a good life. I want to keep pushing and trying to make the best out of a situation that I have. I want to make sure that when I'm 30, 40, you know, I can watch my kids grow up and not have to worry about going to work at a normal nine till five job, let's say, where other people are less fortunate having to do that 
and they miss a lot of their time with their kids being brought up, which is something I don't want to happen, which is why I'm working so hard now to better my life. And um, yeah, it's not easy, it's not easy. I'm, I'm already mentally drained and I've still got so much stuff to sort out business-wise and channel-wise, but we gotta keep going, you know? You have to keep going. If you're watching this right now, make us change tomorrow. Start doing eating healthier if you want to. Start going for a walk in the morning before people are up you should naturally wake up the sunlight as well these small things they go a long way and it's you've got to understand that it could take time we're not saying i'm not saying go from zero to 100 tomorrow make small changes in your life that are going to benefit you healthy wise and you will see progress and you'll start to see like the old you is no you wouldn't even hand around with the old you you know anymore and that's what's happening with me in my life at this moment of time and i want to thank you guys as well for helping me on this journey supporting me it means a lot and i just want to keep providing co good content for you guys keep living up my life and see how we can take how far we can go no ice at starbucks so now i'm driving to another caf where i'm actually gonna sit there do some work in the caf have a smoothie instead of a nice coffee um, sometimes the day doesn't go as planned as what you want it to but in the end of the day you gotta make adjustments sometimes but starbucks what's going on it's the second week now with no ice a few moments ago starbucks has got no ice i repeat starbucks has got no ice 70% of your drinks have got ice in them. What's going on? What sort of business concept is that? Who's working for you? Sort it out, man. Anyway, let's get this, uh, let's go get a smoothie, I guess. Currently getting a smoothie. Doing some work as well. Admin stuff on TFF. This is the view. Just getting it done, as per usual. Gonna get some food as well in here, then go to the gym. Always getting it done. Big session, back in it today, legs, let's get it. back from the gym good leg session i try and record as much as i can but obviously that wasn't the whole session if you guys are enjoying these gym videos let me know and i'll see if we can get a cameraman get the road mics because i've already got them and record me and my mate hitting the gym getting in shape ready for the summer great day on the market taking over 39k 40k profit in just one day that's the sort of things that you can do in trading when you take it slow have a big account don't risk too much and you can generate serious wealth but it's all about learning patience and all that sort of stuff here. and as as i can just tell you now i'm still learning it's taken me a long time to not keep rushing in three trades this month three w's this month that's just how it's done it, it's, it helps massively when you don't over trade because if you're constantly on the on your phone looking at the markets the brokers manipulate the charts on the phone i've said this so many times you've got to use trading view anyway but it's also what, what are you trying to gain when you're trading are you trying to because there's there's a lot of times where you'll make a lot of profit but continue to trade and then you start losing that profit and you don't really care about losing the profit because like oh it's fine it's just profit but it, profit's profit you know you've got to get the withdrawal you've got to get the profit and withdraw that so with that being said try and have some patience with trading if you're struggling let me know join up the free telegram group it's free i don't want you guys to pay obviously i never really want you guys to pay big thank you for all the support the time is it's 20 past two 20 past two i've hit my trades i've gone to the gym did a run had good food i'm hydrated nearly two liters already today and I'm thriving, you know, did the shorts as well, as you can see. Four days a week, I'm doing daily lives, plus all my other stuff on the go. Guys, please, 
if I can help you motivate yourselves to try and go beyond and beyond, set up a side hustle or whatever, getting into shape, getting mentally into shape. It's not even about your physical appearance, it's mentally. Your mental is everything. It takes over, it's self-destructive, like I keep saying. Please, if you need any help, let me know. Thanks for watching, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and maybe one on the weekend, daily lives, plus one short every single day on this YouTube channel. Appreciate the support. I'm really enjoying making these videos for you guys. And my, I know my editor is too. So thanks so much for everyone. That's all I'm gonna do for today because that's all I have to do, called freedom. Anyway, catch you guys in a bit. Much love, thank you, peace.